We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the head, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Where you been? Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, sure. Thanks. Good morning. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessings mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Regine. We have to go. We're done with you, Lincoln. Sammy's next. Don't hurt me, please. Don't get your. You boys ought to be ashamed! Uh, 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 the day you'll die! I uh, 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 
Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makout, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est diverse, c'est sous-site hostilité. <laughs> 